I want you to walk us through the race day, but please update us on your crew member, Trevor Huff. Yeah, Trevor's all right. Uh, you know, when I when I got the shoots out and I saw the wind light on, that was the first thing I was asking is how, how was Trevor? And Chris Cunningham says he's all right. But I also didn't know that, you know, it burned uh, Bobby's shirt. So he must have been by the headers. So when he came down, he hooked the injector. You know, he hasn't been coming down straight and uh, he hooked the injector with the, the body. And luckily I had a hold of the brake. It could have been way worse if I, you know, would have jumped, you know, 10 feet or something. But kind of throws you off, you know. Um, now, now you, are we gonna shut this thing off? What, what are we gonna do, you know? And Jimmy's like, nope, let's, let's run this thing. And staged me and got the job done. But it was kind of a weird win, I'll, I'll give you that. Walk through the process of resetting your mind as you have just gone through a, you know, adrenaline goes through your body, whether you like it or not. A moment like that where the throttle blips, you're wondering if your crew guys are okay, Jimmy resetting you, and you were able to get off the starting line with Caps and outrun him and take the win. Just take us through that process in the final round. Well, I mean, uh, you're still driving uh, a monster, you know, that's uh, 12 plus thousand horsepower. You got to focus and pay attention. And, uh, you know, you can't go out there and do something stupid just because something else happened. But I did see Trevor make it over to the wall on his own. So I figured, you know, he might have, might have had some small injuries, but I figured he was probably all right. Uh, but just a weird, weird deal. Um, never had that happen to me. I've seen it happen before, but uh, you know, we got we to gotta work on that. All right, let's open it up to members from the media. First race of the 2022 Camping World Series season. We'd like our media to be as involved as possible. Josh from the NHRA, of course, is going to start us off right, but we would love for everybody to say their name and affiliation, and then your question for our funny car winner. Josh, start us off. Robert, obviously a, a lot of talk in the off season, new teams, new cars, and certainly last year, not the year that you guys wanted. What kind of statement is this from you guys uh, to start the year off with a performance like this? Not only the win, but the number of good runs that you made throughout the weekend in, in route to the victory. Well, I wouldn't really call it a statement. I, there's a lot of good funny cars that are doing the same thing. We just happened to get the win today. Um, I mean, it's going to be a battle. You look at this. Uh, Look at our qualifying run last night, Caps and I, separated by four thou for number one and number two. So, you know, going into the final, it's going to be a battle and it's, it's going to be a, a great run. And it was, you know, at two thou at the strike. So that it doesn't get any closer than that. That's, that's this unbelievable funny car racing. And if somebody would have told me 10 years ago, you'd see funny car racing like that, I'd tell them they're crazy. But uh, you got to gotta do your job. And everybody on the auto club team did their job this weekend. Uh, we definitely have more consistency than we had all last year. I'm excited about that. And with Jimmy Pratt and Chris Cunningham, they'll they'll just build on that, and I, I can only see it getting better. Bobby Bennett, thecompetitionplus.com. The. The. So, Robert, you're, you're just, you just said by your own admission you're not making a statement, but when you come out on the sixth run of testing and go all the way to the finish line, and you're about 500 off the best run in testing. That is making a statement. That's and, what we're supposed to do. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, so are you still immersed completely in that 2019, or are you creating a new 2022? No, we we, we got to work a race by race, run by run, and uh, you know that's what it's, this is. A, this is a long, long road to win this championship, and there's there's five, six cars out there that are going to be right in the thick of things. You're going to, you're going to come down here in November and you're going to see the same guys battling it out for thousands of a second. It's not going to be easy, but I can, all I can say is that we're up for the task. You know, we've, uh, we're on a mission, we're focused and uh, we're going to do the best we can. Definitely. As a follow up, you definitely want to keep moving forward, but was it hard to keep moving forward with John struggling the way he was since you guys are such a close knit team? Yeah, you know, Jimmy and Chris, they work really close with Danny. And, uh, you know, they've uh, they've got some clutch issues over there. And, uh, if, if you know, I'm sure they'll get them figured out before we go to Phoenix. But if you look at John's car in Phoenix, he ran pretty good. So maybe that, maybe they'll stay with what they had. Because what they had work, that worked in Phoenix did not work here. So. Yeah, Robert, uh, Larry Stewart from Southern California News Group. Um, just go over the... the, the mishap at the uh, at the start and so there was a moment when you actually thought you might not make it to the final well yeah um, everybody kind of just got away from the car 
and uh, you know I didn't know I didn't know what the what they were going to do were they going to shut me off or, or what the plan was you know you know people's safety is more important than than winning a race so you know um, then I saw Jimmy he uh, he started motioning me into to stage and then Chris Cunningham the backup crew chief he he made sure that both body latches were latched because I, I don't think Trevor got both of them done when it all when all went down and uh, you know I'm always pulling back on the throttle and holding the brake when that happens but truthfully you can't you can't hold the throttle you know when a 200 pound body comes on it you know and hits it it's it's impossible you just got to hold the brake and hope that you know the thing doesn't move much more than a foot or so and it didn't the car didn't. I don't think it did I think I held it pretty good maybe I got lucky can you speak the significance obviously a historic venue a historic race for you it's obviously very special uh, to win here the winter nationals to, to start the year can you speak to the significance of that oh it's huge um, and you know we're back this year with uh, the winter nationals on the correct date last year was all fouled up and it just didn't seem right so this is cool uh, we had pretty decent crowds today based on you know the the COVID rules and you know the last few weeks uh, it was exciting to get to see all the fans again and love this place you know you get to go home at night and this, this is where all the auto club folks are uh, you know 18 years with the auto club uh, not many guys can say that they've had one sponsor for 18 years and throughout their whole career pretty pretty impressive additional questions for our funny car winner Robert uh, last year not the way you wanted it to go talk a little bit about the work in the off season to get to this point Where, when did this win actually start did you revamp your program did you go back to something you were doing previously but you were very vocal that 2019 was just kind of a, I don't want to call it a lost year because it was better than many years that people have had, but it wasn't a Robert Height, Jimmy Proc year. Talk a little bit about how you learned from last year to get to this point. Well, the, the team really went through every single race and really focused on, on how we lost. What, where, where did we go wrong? And, you know, you put all that together and you make a spreadsheet and you look and you see what's, what's a common denominator here. What, and it's the clutch. Okay. So, you know, a lot of times you don't you don't move forward without you know moving back and you know Jimmy's always looking to be quicker and faster and so a lot of the stuff that he believed in and really tried did not work last year so we went back to kind of how we ran it in 2019 and we had the best funny car out here you know from the start to finish so uh, we can build on that and you know he says this thing will drive down a dirt road right now so it's, it's got a lot left in it and uh, pretty I mean my my 60 foots today one thou separated four runs at one thou that's pretty consistent you know for the funny car and a uh, final thought nhra 2022 camping world series drag racing in general you mentioned just what we've been through over the past couple of years that we're coming out uh, regulations for COVID are going by the wayside the country is kind of opening up we've got so much young talent you got austin back all these great storylines tony stewart coming in what is your opinion about the state of the sport now as we launch our next season oh i'm excited about it it's all it's all good stuff you know we we need all the cars we can get out here and quality cars and and big names it's uh it's exciting but uh we gotta we gotta up our game and and be able to compete with these guys you know there's there's five or six funny cars that can win any weekend and win the championship so this is only one down and uh, celebrate here for a few hours and, and get to Phoenix and start over. Is there anything that you wanted to say or you want to address before we let you go that we didn't happen to get to here in the media center? Yeah, I wanted, uh, you know, I had an interview. I was going to, I kind of went through my head but uh, before the run, but then when everything happened, it kind of went out the window. I, I want to thank NHRA. They did a great job with this racetrack. This used to be one of the bumpiest racetracks on the circuit and kind of a one lane racetrack, especially for funny cars. And as you could see, you know, cars going down the track separated by thousands. That's, that's pretty impressive. They did a great job, so hats off to them. Thank you, Robert. Your funny car winner, 54th of his career, the Lucas Oil Winter Nationals presented by Protect the Harvest. And we'll see you just eight for now in Arizona. Can't wait.